Hey everyone, it's Christine here. I am out on a hike, a very long hike out here in North Texas. It is very hot, over 40 degrees Celsius, about 104, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm sitting here, it's beautiful, it's quiet where I'm at. There's a stream or a river, I'm not sure what type of the body of water it is, but I've been getting some messages throughout my hike, which is normal for me. Some of you are seeing 22, by the way. I keep getting flooded with that. Everything can seem kind of quiet right now. Perhaps, you know, either the transition point, the in-between, the eye of the storm, if you will, or when you are expecting something and it's quiet, you know, when a storm comes and you have just peace, quiet that precedes it. That's what I'm feeling right now. Really take time to ground yourself. I know I've been saying this a lot. It's important. Some of you are probably just rolling your eyes, maybe laughing. You're like, whatever. I'm serious because your internal security and safety, it's found, just like I said, it's found within yourself. So when things around you may seem like they are going wonky, shifting massively, people are dropping out of your life, things are leaving because there's going to be a lot of clearing out. I'm going to tell you that right now. You haven't already been experiencing that because I have. Uh, really, really take care and be mindful of internally finding that safety and that security. Um, something else too, purging. And this was a message that I got too with the full moon in Capricorn. And this is something that's continuing. Purging, it's not just about decluttering. I'm going to say that again. It's not just about physical decluttering. This is also too about clearing your energy, clearing your space around you, your environment. So of course that could tap into the physical aspect, but also clearing the people, the human people that you are with, your relationships, your habits, your beliefs. Those are big because they actually form the framework uh, in which you live your life. Also your belief system and your values. My phone keeps going down. I can't hold it down right or hold it up because it's so hot <laughs> and my arm is tired. So I, I really felt the need to Hold on, I'm resting my hand on my elbow. <laughs> I really felt the need to say this because I'm sensing it right now. I've been coming to the forest and it's beautiful. I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> Hopefully I, I show the right thing because <laughs> I don't have a, a tripod or one of those thingies, whatever they're called. <laughs> I did it. I'm just here sitting on the ground on the banks of this body of water taking a brief break I have about a five six mile hike here and so um, there's a lot of serenity serenity and peace that you can find within yourself and I really want to remind you all to really go within that could mean chanting breath work singing those are really wonderful ways to get the energy out of your body especially singing for those of you that enjoy singing regardless of whether or not you feel like you have a good voice because I will acknowledge my voice is out of tune despite taking music theory courses for many, many years. In school and out, I really can't go with a note, but I love singing. It's a really, it just, it's a, a release. So find a way to center yourself. Again, meditation, walking, nature, chanting, singing, breath work. There's so many different types. And keep doing it more so now than ever. Because when you can tune in to that center point within yourself, when you can tune in and find that stability, that emotional, mental, energetic, spiritual stability within and also your fit with your physical body, because mind, body, soul, we're all connected in, that, in those different aspects. It's going to make an enormous difference in how you ride the wave. I'll just say the big wave that's coming. And this isn't to incite fear at all. It's simply to know that life is about change, right? There's impermanence. That's something that is intrinsic. It's part of life. And if you are still someone that maybe can have difficulty with change. I don't know why it took so long for me to say that. Maybe you're a fixed sign, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. But apart from astrological placements, I mean, if you've grown up in a dysfunctional home, change may be something that, yeah, you've adapted to, but it is it could be very difficult. And for, for others, it's easy. So just know a lot of things are going to be shifting and all of your power, all of the ways in which you react perhaps and respond to these changes they are going to be predicated on how grounded you are because that's going to really uh, mirror for you uh, your reaction your behavior 
the way you respond to the world and the way the world responds to you. So that's it. That's what I wanted to get out. I hope this message resonated with someone. Whatever it is, I hope you enjoy a beautiful new moon. Oh my gosh, my arm is tired. I hope you enjoy a beautiful new moon wherever you are in the world. Take pride and courage in yourself. Take the leaps forward. Live with integrity. So important, I say that. Do things that honor your values and yourself and appreciate and love who you are no matter how quirky, weird, fill in the blank that you feel you are because you are going to live your fullest life when you're just you. Happy new moon in Leo. I will see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>